Making props for theatre shows can be an expensive process. Trust me, I know. But today we're actually going to be making some props on a very small budget. We're going to be making some props for a small production of Alice in Wonderland. And this is going to be super fun and really chilled. And I'm just going to go through a few little props that I made for this show on an extremely tight budget. And we're starting right now. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am That Props Girl and I'm all about helping non-professional theatre makers, props designers, hobby crafters and decorators create unique props and decor. And today, as I said, we are making some extremely budget friendly props. I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing when you get an extremely big budget for a show, but those shows don't always come around. So when you do have a tiny budget, it's important that you learn how to be cost effective where you can. And sometimes that provides a big challenge, but it also provides an amazing opportunity Opportunity to be quite creative. If you are keen to see that, then stick around. Be sure to smash the like button as it lets me know you want to see more content like this, as well as consider hitting the subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss a single one of my uploads. And with all of that said and done, let's jump straight into this video. Today, we're going to be making some fake cookies, a fake carrot. We're going to be doing the paint brushes and paint cans for painting the roses red. We're also going to be making a fake pineapple and I'm going to be decorating a large book as well. We're going to start first with our fake cookies. These are really simple. I just use air drying clay and if you guys have seen my channel before then you guys know I love using air drying clay to make a lot of my fake foods. I like the Crayola brand but you can use whatever brand you like. And I just went in with a rolling pin, rolled it out. I needed to make five of these cookies and I made sure that they weren't too thin because otherwise they can become quite brittle. Then I took a little bit of air drying clay and placed them in little balls on top of the cookies. And these are acting like little chopped chips and I just press them into the cookies. If you need, the cookies can say eat me as well. My director didn't require that, but if you need to do that, you can make these in the pattern so they do say eat me as well. Once they were dry and it can take a little bit of time with air drying clay, I went in with some brown acrylic paint and just painted those chalk drops. Now, of course you can paint the entire cookie as well. I didn't see the need to do that as my air drying clay looked fine as is, but if you do want to paint the whole thing, you can, and you can seal them with some Mod Podge as well when you're done. This was really, really simple. They were so cheap and easy to make and they look fantastic. Thank you. 
Next, we're gonna be making a fake carrot. Now you can buy styrofoam shapes. I couldn't find any at the shops when I went, but I did find this little cone shaped, it's actually a stake for the garden, believe it or not, to put candles in. I thought it would make a perfect fake carrot. And so I went in with first some orange spray paint and then some acrylic paint. I pulled the candle out of it and now the bottom of that tea light candle I'm actually going to turn it upside down and invert it and glue it into the top because this is going to be the top of my carrot. Once that was dry, I glued the tea light candle into the top of the carrot. And then I literally just took some fake leaves that I got from the craft section in a dollar store and glued them to the top. It was that simple and it looks fine. It actually is kind of better than using a real carrot anyway, because it's gonna be more robust. I think it turned out really well. And as I said, there are foam ones of these that you can get, but basically anything in a cone shape is perfectly fine to use. I did the exact same thing with these leaves to make a fake pineapple. I couldn't find a fake pineapple, so I literally just got a yellow spiky ball and glued them to the top, and I think it looks just fine anyway. It's a kid's production, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now for our paint brushes and paint cans, this is gonna sound really, really basic, and that's because it is. We're literally just getting actual paint brushes, and I'm going in with some acrylic paint and just painting over them. These are not expensive paint brushes. These are really cheap ones that you can get again in the dollar store from the craft section. And I'm just painting over them, as I said, in some red acrylic paint, and I'm doing the same thing with the cans. Ignore the pink paint which is already on these. I did this exact same thing for a recent production of Priscilla and that's where the pink paint is from. But I'm gonna paint over that in the red. And so I'm just using the acrylic paint to paint down the sides of the cans. And on the inside, I'm gonna go in with some red spray paint as well. But it's super simple, it looks really effective. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a very, very cost-effective prop. Now, if you don't have paint cans lying around at home, that's totally fine. You can pick them up from some hardware stores, or if you don't want to use used paint cans, you can also just use a bucket and it will work just the same. And lastly, for our book, I'm using a real book. Now, this is a large book, uh, and you don't have to use a real book if you don't want to, but I thought it was actually easier than making one. Now, I'm using my Cricut to make these letters to spell out Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, that's perfectly fine. You can just print out letters. You can also use letter stickers. You can paint the letters on, or if you don't want to do that to your book, then you can actually make an entire dust jacket to go around it. I have done this before, and it actually actually works really well. And if you would like to see a video on that, then let me know in the comments down below because I will be more than happy to make one of those videos for you.
And so there you go. There are some really cost effective and easy ways to make props on a very tight budget. I did not spend a lot of money in making these and they look great anyway. Sometimes simple really is best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. Be sure to smash the like button if you did and let me know in the comments what you think and consider hitting the subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads and I will see you guys next time. Bye.